What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Horcrux here. Thank you all for the support. I just got the greatest news of my life on the PTS. More serial tests are coming. Guess what they're doing, fellas? They're getting proc sets the fuck out. They're getting any five piece damage modification set out. They're going back to vanilla. Straight up fucking vanilla, where you just stack your stats nice and simple. There's class identification. No bullshit. Malacanth ring. No heavy armor. Proc sets builds. None of that. Just straight up basic vanilla shit, which I've been preaching for fucking ever. So, sorry for the camera being out of focus, but I really wanted to zoom in and show you guys. I'm actually happy to see this. This one come to on the PTS. I think February 15th. I'm not sure. Or maybe in game. Who knows? Um, but I will show you guys here quickly if I can hide my ugly ass face here. Uh, there we go. Now, so these are going to be the only sets allowed. I'm just going to quickly go through this. I cannot tell you how excited I am. So essentially on the 15th, they realized that all their AOE tests and shit that they did was completely dog shit and did not work. So they're just going to remove all the dog shit carry sets. So this is the only thing that's left. If you guys really like my Shackle Plasm build, well, guess what? Amber Plasm, Shackle Breaker. That's going to be 100% the meta set while this is going on. If you're playing Magicka Sorcerer, Magicka DK, we'll get into that uh, in a little bit. But um, this bodes very well. Now let me know what you guys think. I just want to quickly update you this little video. I'm not sure... What you guys think about it, I personally cannot wait for something like this. Because ESO has just been too stale. Too many people getting carried by proc sets. And then when you put proc sets on a really good player, it just makes game the game even worse. It's very unplayable for a new player base. So maybe this will kind of even the playing field a little bit. Most of these are easily attainable and everyone's going to be running them. So there's really not going to be too much of an advantage. I would imagine there would be a lot of class balancing because of this. But this is primarily just to see how the server will hold up, right? So, with that being said, on to the serious stuff. So, I don't normally ask you guys this, but I do have a Patreon. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do that a multitude of ways. Like the con like video comment on the video you know, only like if you actually like the content right and if you really want to help me out you can sub to my patreon or see me a don't know any money that I receive on this channel or don't know why I stream doesn't matter it's gonna go back into the channel meaning I can get a better camera this one auto focuses it's pretty dope my girlfriend bought it for me so if you guys want that super high def you know 4k ultra HD you know we can do that to an obviously a better setup green screen all the fun stuff all the visual effects and animations so if you want to kind of support the channel uh, that'd be great and uh, yeah just let me know what you guys think down in the comments whether this is a good change bad change is us actually listening to the community for once that's unheard of right so yeah flood the comments down below and I will catch you guys in the next one peace